up you guys and welcome back to my channel <clears throat> I'm your girl Avis C T V or better known Miss Unapologetically Avis because I don't apologize for it. so don't know which channel is really going on but um there's some conversation going on about my really bad addiction that we've been having on my page Avis C T V better known as A and R Squad and also on my Instagram because you guys know I do random stuff on my Instagram as far as like I have video chats, I do live, I do workout videos, live, all that, or I upload something on my IGTV, which has me my me and my cornstarch when I happen to be craving it. And I decided to share my intimate secret moments with you guys when I'm eating my cornstarch. Like I did last night. I was watching a movie and I had my bad craving, so I would start sucking it down with my straw. You guys know I used to eat it with a spoon, Mama Sharon. So able to try it with a straw. She has it bad. We both got it bad. She got me hooked on the straw, and it gets a different taste because when you suck it through the straw, you can actually smell it through your nose. And I'm like, oh my fucking goodness. I'm like a fucking crackhead now because when I see it come out of my mouth or I see it come through the straw, I literally try to sniff it. It's like a powder form. Just watch this clip right here. Okay, welcome back. So yeah, I really, really got it bad. But um, a lot of people ask me, what does it taste like? I don't, I can't describe what it tastes like. It's kind of describing like water. Like you get, like you get um, different waters from like Dasani and uh, Zephyr Hills, Florida. What are, what are different kind of waters they have? And you know, each water has their own different taste, but it don't have the taste, but it kind of has a taste, right? That's the same thing as cornstarch and different, different brands. I'm gonna drop my phone. Different brands and different cornstarches have like Clapper Girl, Argo, um, Dollar General brand, which is Clover Valley, with a Walmart brand, which is really good, which is a great value, when Dixie brand, like all those have different, different, different flavors, but it tastes like something, but it don't taste like nothing. And what I do it for, I don't know, honest to God, I don't know how I got hooked back on it. I really don't. I think when I end up tasting Mama Sharon's on like a year ago or a year and a half ago, I end up just tasting it because I haven't tasted in a while. And it just bring it all back to me and my my mouth getting watery right now. I gotta go get some. Um, goddamn, you can't talk about it with your, without your mouth getting watery. Shit. Ugh. But anyway, that same thing with how uh, people eat. Seeing people eat there on YouTube. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta. I I don't know how this shit pop up. I think because I put my video up and then it shows recommendations for it. And then I'm watching this shit, my mouth get watery all over again. They gotta run and get me another thing. Another sip. A uh, suck. Um. Someone asked me. Um. How long did my one box last me? Because one girl told me they eat the like a whole box. They eat like three boxes a week or something like that. Uh, I'm like, wow, that's, that's a lot. I eat like mine. Mine maybe last like a week or two because I don't sit there and eat it, eat it, eat it. Um, also, um, I don't swallow as much. What I mean by within that whole box, I maybe but swallow maybe like, I can't even tell you because I, I, I constantly spit it out. Um, because I know it's very, very harmful to my body. And also, I'm a person that have digestive issues itself. As far as, like, I've always been like a girl. I kind of get constipated easily. 
and I get, I mean, and oh my God, I'm so horrible with pain. So I get constipated very easily and that's going to make me constipated. It's going to mess up my digestive system, which I know all these things. So I try not to swallow large amounts of, large amounts, period. Not at a time, but period. Because it will harm your body. It can also kill you, clog your arteries and all that because I want you to do a test. If you eat cornstarch, I want you guys, ladies, to do this. Eat it, put it in your mouth. Make all wet and juicy hot. And before you swallow it, don't swallow it. Get a napkin. Get two or three napkins and fold it in half or in fours, whatever. And spit it out. Okay, you're going to absorb all your liquid spit, your saliva, right? It's going to seem gross, but whatever. Just do it. You're going to absorb all that, but then watch how the cornstarch settles. That's what, how it's going to be in your body. It's not going to digest like that. Just check it out. And I know that. I know this. So far, I try not to swallow because people ask me, hey, did you swallow or do you spit it out? I spit mine out. Same way I used to do when, it's, it's addiction I have, I know that. I know I have a food addiction too. Just like I did when earlier in my stages when I, after my VSG surgery um, with food, I used to chew my food up and spit it out or lick the food and then spit uh, and, and don't eat the chip. I just want to taste it. I don't want to eat it. I just want to taste it. I want to enjoy the flavor. I don't want to eat it. Because I know what it can do. But sometimes I end up do swallowing my cornstarch. And I shouldn't be swallowing at all. Um, so. That's that. I hope I. I'm trying to remember every question you asked. I know a lot of people say that one person. They just want me to talk to on Instagram. That she almost died from it. Um, some people say yeah. They love it. They make their mouth watery now. I mean. All of that. It just. Something I'm trying to stop. But when I go try to go cold turkey, I literally have the worst, worst tantrum ever because I want it so bad and I seem to lose my cool. That's how I know I got it bad because I got really, really angry the other night because Ron was trying to get me off of it and tried to tell me not to eat it and whatnot. And he told me if I stop eating corn, start to stop smoking cigarettes. So we made that deal with that bit or whatever. And I went back on my word, but he said he's not going back on his because he knows cigarettes it's going to be killing him later on in life or whatever damage to his body. And he want to be here with me and his kids. Same thing with me. I got to get that in my head. But I'm not, like he said, hey, I'm going to how much you fucking spit now. Something's still going on your throat. True enough. Yes, it is. But there's no but. It is. But not in large quantities. That's how I figure it. I see it. But um, anyway, I'm back on track. Um, not with the cornstarch, though. But I'm back on track eating right. I'm kind of hungry now. So go with me a protein snack. So come on with me and let me show you. Oh, for my protein snack, I have this bump. Well, first of all, I got these from Dollar Tree. It's spicy Thai chili, seasoned tuna, 12 grams of protein. And let's see how many servings, uh, serving size, one pouch. You got to come with a spoon as well. Focus, please. Focus. There. Um, yeah. And it has 12 grams of protein, 8 grams of carbs. So that goes to my carb count for today. I'm trying to get no more than 30 carbs today, which is supposed to be 50, but I'm trying to do 30, no more than 30, but my max is 50. Okay? Um, but which eight is not bad at all. And the reason why it's eight because of the season they put on here, the sweeteners and all that season. So that made the carbs go up. Um, seven grams of sugar, uh, which again, the flavor they add to it. Makes that go up. No more than um, 30 grams of sugar a day. But sugar is in everything. So, hey, just watch your sugar intake and also your carbs. Um, this is a protein um, pack snack. I found it all tree as well. And on the back of it, I read nutrition facts. It's 240 calories. You want to keep your calories 1,500 calories a day in order to keep the weight down. It has 21 grams of carbs. That come in with the raisins or cranberries. I'm not going to eat those. I'm going to save that for my daughter Trinity. She loves raisins and cranberries. I'm going to save that for her. But I am going to eat the meat, which is protein, and the sunflower, which is protein. Um, so, yeah. Still doing good with that. This one came with cheese, which I said this, this has got to be processed cheese so much. It's processed so much to that. That you're going to eat it out of there like that. And it's, I'm pretty sure that's not even healthy for you at all. But um, in the back as well. We have uh, 11 grams of protein. 5 grams of carbs. 
which is actually way better because the raisins, the cranberries are, like I told you, cranberries is the carbs. And you only have 5 grams of carbs in this one. And 11 grams of protein. 17 grams of, no, 9 grams of protein in this one. And... Hold on, you guys. I got a phone call. So, yeah. Those are the things you need to watch for. And like I said, the, the, like I knew before, the cranberries made the... Um, this lighting is so pretty on me. <laughs> the cranberries made the... Um, carbs go up. And also, I want to talk about the sugars with this one. The sugars, the, it also has fiber. The fiber in the cranberry one was three. The fiber in the cheese is two. And the, um, hold on, the carbs for the cranberry one is 21. The carbs for this one is five. The sugars for the cranberry one is 17 grams. My freaking goodness. But the sugar in this one is less than one gram of protein. I mean sugar. That's in that one gram of sugar. So which one's the better one? This one. And yeah. The one with the cheese is better, of course. And this is smoke or uh is it pork? Is it turkey? I don't know. Original snack stick flavor added smoke, sunflower kernels, and cheddar cheese. Okay, so um there we have it and always read the nutrition facts and yeah always beef um mechanically separated chicken water soy protein uh concentrated salt contain two percent of less uh the dextrose flavoring corn syrup flavoring lex like lactic acid uh yeah 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 i'm pretty sure this should have killed us in the long run but anyway Get your protein in. And, um, yeah. It includes 7 grams added sugars. For, so, like I told you, in a way. So, it was added sugars. Because there wouldn't have been sugar. Total sugar is 7 grams. But it wouldn't have been no sugar in here at all. If, um, they would never add that flavor into it. So, I learned to read the nutrition facts, my babies. And... I thought it wasn't recording. I'm about to be ashamed. Yeah. And I'll see you later. I'm going to eat some protein. And I'm thinking about actually trying this. I'm going to try it. It came with a spoon too. I don't know if I said that. But I'm going to try this in my salad today for lunch. I'm thinking about trying it by itself and then try it in the salad. I'll let you guys go with, know what it tastes like. Because I just got a plain salad. I have Italian dressing. So I'm going to pour that. Pour this on top of it a little bit. I eat it with some Italian dressing with some cucumbers I'm going to work to. And, um, yeah. So, I'm probably there around about 12 o'clock. What time it is now? It is 11.41 a.m. on Tuesday. And I'm fixing to go ahead and start preparing my lunch. Because I got everything basically done. With my clothes stopping in the washing machine. So, I'm like, my clothes, the uh, towels and no sheets and stuff. Clothes, whatever. So, I can go ahead and get the folding. But right now, it's lunchtime. So, talk to you later.